Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use NVIDIA Broadcast with Wavelink software. So if you have an Elgato microphone and you want to remove noises, like this. So this is the sound of my keyboard. And what I've done now is to turn on the NVIDIA Broadcast plugin. And you can see that th this is being removed. So I've turned it on quite aggressively so my voice might sound a little bit weird. You can't hear the keyboard noise. So if I slap it really hard, can't hear it at all. It's the same deal with mouse clicks too. So it should sound like this. But now that I've turned on the NVIDIA broadcast, I'm gonna do the mouse thing and uh, the AI is just basically filtering all that noise out. It does make my voice sound a little bit weird, but it is working. And the good thing is that it does this without latency as well. So at the moment I'm using NVIDIA broadcast. So there is a little tiny bit of imperceptible lag basically where it's about maybe hundred milliseconds where the voice doesn't necessarily match up with my mouth speed. And I've got the noise suppression filter turned on. And what I'm gonna do now is to go into microphone FX with the plugin turned on on Wavelink software. And I'm talking now, this has now been turned on and I feel like there's a little bit less lag, but we'll see in the recording how this is. But anyway, I'm going to talk now and say that I'm going to be showing you in this video how to turn on the plugin version of NVIDIA Broadcast rather than using the application. And this is built into the Wavelink software, so you don't need the other part installed. So you don't need the NVIDIA Broadcast installed necessarily, you just need the SDK. I'm going to show you the full process of how to do this. Hopefully, as well, we're going to show you how to fix some of the distortion that's caused by the VST plugin, caused by NVIDIA Broadcast in general. So there's a way of setting process affinity, which I'm going to show you at the end of the video. We're also going to be doing a lot of testing as well, seeing what the slider is going to do to your voice and the noise cancellation as well. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get the NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal VST audio effect working in the Elgato Wave 3. So I'm assuming that you have Wavelink installed already. So this is the Elgato Wave 3 software and we have the microphone installed correctly in the first entry here. And then what you can do is click on this button at the bottom of your microphone and then you can add audio effects. So I'm going to add these right now. And I'll remove the audio effects and what we're going to do is click plus here and then we're going to download NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So you click on get more audio effects and that's going to open up a web browser. And basically what we want to do is get to the Elgato Marketplace. So I'm also going to leave a link directly to the Marketplace itself because what we want to do is get to this VST section of the audio effects part of the Marketplace. And what we want to do is download the free NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal plugin. And we do this by clicking on this button and then adding it to cart, create a free account, check it out, it costs zero money, so it's completely free. And then we can press this open in Wavelink button once it's attached to your account. And then we press open Wavelink here, and then it's gonna be added to our list of plugins here that we can add here. So if it's already installed, and uh, we can press the plus button here, then we're gonna press NVIDIA Broadcast Noise Removal by Elgato. And what it's gonna do is tell us that we also need to download another SDK. So we're gonna click on Download SDK. And uh, in order to use this, of course, we need to have an NVIDIA Graphics card. So we need to download the correct SDK from this list on the left here. So it depends on which card you have. If you have a 40 series, you wanna download this button here, 30 series here, 20 series here. So it's only gonna work on these three series. So you need to have a card from like 2017 onwards. Basically, one of these is the correct one. So I've got a 40 series. So I'm going to download this and uh, we're going to get this version of the software. So once that download's finished, we're going to open this up and then launch the installer. And then here it's saying that it's installing the NVIDIA Audio Effects SDK. So it's kind of the back end version of NVIDIA Broadcast. We're actually installing the backend kind of drivers for this. So press close. And it says here basically we need to restart the host program. So we're going to close. We need to make sure that Wavelink is completely quit. So I'm going to right click on the taskbar, quit Wavelink. And then go into here. And then we can go to settings. And now that's working correctly. So I'm going to tweak the strength. So that's at 100% strength. I'm not sure if you can hear that. My microphone's right here. What I'm going to do is uh, tap something. Let's do some tapping. Does that remove the noise? I'm not sure. See here. A bit quieter. Anyway, that's 100% noise removal from NVIDIA Broadcast plugin. So what we're going to do is test this out in OBS. You need to make sure that your microphone device is set to the Wavelink stream because that is the output of 
the uh, Wavelink software. And then we can do some testing. For example, here, I'm just going to click on my control button. And I'm wondering if that's, I can hear it, but I'm wondering if that's coming up with the noise here. Let's see if this OBS picks it up. So I'm going to hit it harder. I'm going to talk and do this at the same time, see if the noise gate is working. But uh, that's interesting. Let's try with the keyboard. That's interesting that it's not picking it up. Anyway, that is RTX noise removal built into the Elgato Wave 3. So now what I found is that if you pump this up to 100%, it can be quite kind of uh, noisy. It can introduce artifacts into the voice. It doesn't sound that great. So it does sound better if you turn it down a bit. So I'm also gonna do a noise removal test with this Bluetooth mouse. So um, if I turn this down to 0%, you can hear it. it's probably quite loud. But if I pump it up to 100, it's less loud. So what I'm gonna do is to put this down to 90%. And let's keep talking. I'm going to put this down to 80%. That's 81%, 80%, 70%. Then we're going to go down to 60%. And then 50%. And now we're going to go down to 40%. 40% here, 30% here. And then I think what I like to keep it at is 20%. This is probably optimal or even 10% is probably fine too. So, and uh, if I turn this off completely, this is what it sounds like, or this is what it sounds like at 100%. So I think in my testing, I think that 10% is probably the ideal kind of noise reduction without affecting your voice too much. So another tip is to reduce distortions by setting the CPU affinity correctly. So we're gonna use the application called Process Lasso to do this automatically. We're gonna to go to bitsum.com and we're gonna download this. And then we're gonna set this up quickly. I'm just gonna run this now. Then we're gonna install and launch Process Lasso, press install here. So I've got Process Lasso open and uh, what we're gonna do is go to all processes and uh, sort by name. And uh, basically we're gonna find Audio DG. I'm going to right click on this and then I'm going to set the CPU priority. So at the moment it's set to current, which is normal. If you set this using Task Manager, then it's going to reset when you restart your computer. So we're going to set this to always and we're going to set this to high. So that's going to prioritize Audio DG. I'm also going to prioritize the Wavelength software as well. So I'm going to right click here, priority always high, and then this one SE, I'm gonna set this to high as well. Can be helpful to set specific CPU core to this particular process. So instead of having multiple cores, we can just disable all of them. And then what we're gonna do is one by one, take off all of the CPUs except the last one. So we're gonna have CPU 15 enabled just by unclicking all of the other CPUs so that it's not shared with the other CPU cores. So I've got it set now so that the CPU affinity is always set to CPU 15, just a single core. And then this is always gonna apply when you restart the computer. And hopefully this is gonna improve your recording as well. So basically I've had the plugin this entire time set to 20%. And uh, hopefully there's no more distortions anymore. So hopefully this is gonna fix that issue. So another fix you can try as well is to change the 3D settings on your NVIDIA control panel, which can help because the RTX graphics card is doing a lot of the work here. So if you go to your NVIDIA graphics settings, right click and go to control panel, and then we're gonna go to manage 3D settings, and then we're gonna change the power priorities here. So if we go to power management mode, we're gonna select here and then click on prefer maximum performance and then this is going to help some of these issues as well so hopefully it'll fix some of the crackling for you when you're using this vst so just remember to click apply i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one